Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Bravely Default. We're leaving off right where we left off last time. We awakened, well we talked to Yolyana, we awakened the last crystal, and we finished the last side quest. So, we've only got one thing to do left, we have that crystal right... My mic is in the way, this is my mic right here. It's kind of cool. My shirt is black, my mic uh, tip is black. So you actually can't see the mic. How cool is that? But anyway. Uh, right where my finger is, is the last thing we have to go to, which is right here. Let's go ahead and land. Let's do a quick save. And then let's head inside. Alright. And I did go to an inn before I came, so I'm all healed up and got my MP. Right, let's continue. We'll have to do that later, I guess. I'll just, like, find Look, a clip or this crystal something. Has also reversed. Should we pref I think... Okay, just... Like Repeated dialogue from the la from the first time. Rasulka is not so hard to hit. Let's do one pressure point. Pressure point. Let's go ahead and um. It's gonna be a little weird, but let's go ahead and cast reflex on everyone just so we don't get charmed. And then with Adia, we're gonna go ahead and do a bunch of Thundagas here. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Do a pressure point with each of these. Okay, that's okay. Let's cast Reflect on everyone, because he's going to be doing the Bewitching spell. And I don't want that to hit me. So, we're going to go ahead and just Reflect instead. Okay, Adia is not doing much damage some for some reason. Oh, it might be because she has that one thing on. I might have to take that off. Okay, pressure point, pressure point. Okay. That's alright. See. Let's make sure we default here. I don't want to die. Or I don't want to take like a crazy amount of damage. Okay, we're gonna default again. Default. Let's do a Kirada and hopefully it doesn't outspeed me. And then with that, let's go ahead and do this on all foes. Okay, perfect. We got the heal off. You love to see that. Okay, don't kill any- don't, don't, don't do that. Okay. That's fine. They almost killed Adia, which was pretty annoying, but... Because, yeah, that, that would've, that would've stopped them from... Oh, they're not all dead. That's a slightly worrying. Um, okay, these are all attack ones. Let's just default. Default. And then, for the sake of... Let's do a Kirada, and then maybe a... Uh, a Holy only hits one, right? Let's do an Aeroga. Maybe maybe they're all on like 2 HP right now. Maybe we can kill them all with this. No, okay. How strong are these clones? Okay, well, I don't want to guess which one is the real one. So... This is going to be a little weird, but I'm going to keep defaulting because I don't want to hit the wrong one. It's a lot of turns and things like that to waste if I hit the wrong one. And they're already so weak after three of Adias, so I feel like it'd be wrong to actually just try and guess. I'd rather just kill them all with Adia super quickly and call it a day. Let's go ahead and default, default, and hopefully with Adia here we can kill these guys. Alright, come on Adia. Anya's had to hit, once again, this is how I lost the first fight, just had to hit Adia, the one person I need alive, that's the person that gets hit. Absolutely incredible. Fair enough. Let's arise, and hopefully, An Adia, stop punching people. Stop it. Default, default. Let's go ahead and do a Kiraga. And once again, let's just do Thundagas. I really need Adia to not die here. Whatever you do. Thank you. Wow. Are these things still not going to die? Oh, okay, good. Well, only one of them died, actually. Okay. Well, then here's what we're going to do. Oh, good thing that Kirata came in. 
Let's just do a basic attack. Basic attack. Default. This will... This should get rid of the last two. Okay, there we go. Okay, now we can go ahead and do... Three pressure points. Three more pressure points. And a default. I don't want it to... Literally had no HP left anyway. Okay. Well, we wasted a bit of time and we looked, made ourselves look a bit goofy on that, but that's alright. Hurry up and awaken the crystal! Of course! Okay, same dialogue as before. Just awaken I'm the crystal. Ready, I'm sure you have a hit. No, I, I don't want to explode well, the crystal. Yes. I don't want to explode Let the crystal. I'll explode the crystal on another... Or at the end of the game or whenever I go back for all the other endings. Okay. And this is the last crystal, too, so... After this, we should go into the next world, or... Whatever's supposed to happen when we go into that white pillar. Although, it is what it is. Okay, let's keep moving on. Let's go ahead and run out of here. And I'll save right outside of the temple. And then we'll run over there. Okay, let's go ahead and give it a... Oop, am I not on here? Hello? Oh, okay, I'm like... It, my thingy wasn't doing what I wanted it to. Do we have an update on the... Okay, oh, we maxed out another one. Okay, so which ones? We only got a couple left here. We only got these three. That one's 9 and 13. Let's go ahead and stick a couple more people on there. Go ahead and stick a couple more people on there. A couple more people on there. And then we'll almost be maxed out, which is crazy. Okay, let's go ahead and... um. Ooh. Let's get on the airship. And let's head towards the White Chasm. No, oh, I totally have to sneeze there. I mean the White Pillar, not the White Chasm. Chasm is not white. Okay. Into it this we go. The light is blinding. It is rather overwhelming. So we must enter the light again, it seems. It almost stings the skin, don't you think? Yes. I feel the same. Grin and bear it! We must succeed this time! Okay, I need to start meditating so I can focus. Don't bother me till I'm done! How about we do bother her? I'll make her? sure all goes to plan this time. A wondrous and beautiful first light! My brooch awaits your divine radiance! Ari is really giving it her all. She may feel responsible for things going awry last time. Can you make some notes in your journal, Ring a Bell? All right, I'll jot down anything that seems important. But I'm not sure how much I can do. Besides the piloting, there is one other problem. Hmm. <gasps> yes, we'll have him to deal with when he comes. You mean... We have to go through that again? Let us head to the deck! What does that mean? <gasps> I forgot about him. Alternus. Where is she? Who do you mean? Where is that peculiar fairy? You mean Aerie? Aerie? But why? 
Tell me where she is. Now! Just what do you intend to do to her? Slay her, of course. Once she is gone, this will end. Do not try to stop us. How could you betray the Grand Marshal? Your own father! Can you not see the grief you have caused? It is always the same with you. You never listen to me! You and my father have done nothing but stand in my way. When you shattered the Sky Stone on the Echelot, when we entered the Attorney and Central Command, you hindered us at every step! How can I understand without a word of explanation? For mercy's sake, tell us the whole story! Take it. You? Alternus? Who are you? What? You are not Idea! I don't... Uh. Oh, That's right! It's shaking! I am from a different world. You... You are all trying to deceive me! Stand aside, cowardly fools! Or your blood shall soak this dark blade! Okay, we fight. Let's do this. Shouldn't be a hard fight. Just like any other one. We're not going to get him to low HP until we can fully attack with a bunch. Okay. We can do a Kirata here. That'll be enough. Another Dark Bane. Maybe should have done a, fuel, a full Kirata or Kiraga there. Right, let's just do another one. Do another of that. Okay. Do you know that fairy's true objective? She intends to let the power of the crystals run wild. You have all fallen for her rules. That includes you, Wind Vestal. Okay. Oh, we have the special. Let's go ahead and do the special. And then three pressure points. Do our own special here. With the three pressure points. Just do another of those. And then he's a dark, so he's he's we need to use light against them, but I sadly don't have any light. So normal Furagas will have to work. I got this. And I really need to switch up Adia's abilities before every fight. She's good against mass, but she, the ability that she has now is not good against one single player. So I, I need to fix that. Okay, 20k, 30k, 40k. You here. That's 40k so far. They were all 999, so. Okay, that's 50k. 50k, 60k, 70k, 80k. Let's see how much Adia can do. Okay, 82, 84. 86 89 Okay, that's not too bad 89 so far You know what we can even do the holy weapon and let's just put on wait. Oh, we don't have enough for that. Oh Okay, well then um, Let's do two of those and then we do a furaga. There we go. Yeah, so we're, we don't have any more any more on Adia, but honestly, Adia is not the one doing a lot of damage right now, so that's not that big of a deal as far as I'm concerned. If anything, I should even maybe take her off of Black Mage and put her on something else, but but that's all right. Dark Shield. Okay. Are we just killing every ring -a bell from every world? You... Why? Alternus! Second one we've killed. So we've killed two ring -a bells so far.
Ring a bell! Hey! Ring a bell! <coughs> <coughs> Are you all right? You're just keeled over. We were worried. Uh, uh. Does he now remember some things? The ship is pitching deep. Can you take the wheel, ring a bell? Y yes, I'm fine. Then let's hurry back to the bridge. My memory seems to have returned. Ah. I see now. All is clear. Hold on to something, everyone! Ring a bell! I'm trying. She won't come around. It has to work. screaming chapter six a world of echoes equal this is the s third world morning. good morning back into time the to wake up back into the Come chair on. huh that's it you picked a fine time to visit this land what with all the trouble about terrible luck that Did we just... Yes, it's happened again. All right, everyone. What's the last thing you remember? We were in Grandship when it plunged into the Holy Pillar, and Ares' brooch began absorbing its light. That's when Alternus attacked. Same as the last time. Or was it the time before? That's what I remember, too. And just as in the world before last, my memory stops there. <sighs> my poor... Aching head. Hmm. Beg pardon, but I must ask you to leave now that you're up. No telling what troubles a stranger brings in his wake. Okay, he doesn't know us in this one. All right, we're leaving. Strangers? The innkeep spoke as if he'd never seen us before. You're right. But how could that. My mind gets twisted in knots more and more with each go-round. Mm. Innkeeper, before we go, can I ask what's become of the Great Chasm? Is that what you lot are here about? Well, I'd stay away from there if I were you. They say it swallowed up Norende a week ago. The entire village, mind. <sighs> Every last one of the poor villagers perished. Save one wee lad. Pitiable child, losing his entire family in a day. Word is, he was saved by his elder brother. That's the only reason he survived. Elder brother? Yes, even stayed a spell here. When he left, he mentioned something about rebuilding his village. Uh, I don't... I don't understand. Ahoy! It's Dad's! Again? This makes a second time we have failed. Sorry, everyone. Wish I could say why, but I haven't a clue. What if something really did happen, and we've simply lost our memories of it? Ring a bell. Remember what I asked you? To write down everything that happened in the Holy Pillar. Of course. Let's see what I came up with. Hmm. The second Holy Pillar. Eri entered a state of trance. The Dark Knight, Alternus Dim, attacked, as in the previous world. He bore my face. Who or what is he? That's all I have. That's how I remember it. Dats, did you all see anything? Nah, we evacuated to the hold. Couldn't see much of anything from down there. Well, we can't keep charging on blindly. It's happened twice in a row. It can't be an accident. And I don't think we're simply traveling back in time. 
there are too many glaring conflicts. What are your thoughts, Ari? Why have we failed? I wish I knew. Well, if even Ari is at a loss, then there is no point in debating this any further. We shall just have to awaken the crystals again as we did in the previous world. I'm starting to wonder, is what Eri says right? What? Are you saying what we've been doing is wrong? I can't blame you for doubting, but... No one has ever tried to awaken the crystals and evoke the holy pillar, have they? That means no one knows whether that will erase the great chasm. Not even Eri. But Eri is the culmination of the wisdom of generations of Vestals. She cannot be wrong. Then how do you explain Alternus Dim's words? What did he mean? What Alternus said? Wait, what did he say? Anya's? What he spoke of was inconceivable. But Dim isn't the only one. Idea's father believed that awakening the crystals was dangerous. That's enough, ring a bell. If we believe his claims, then everything we've done so far was for naught. Is that reason enough to reject them out of hand, though? Um, excuse me. How about including me in this conversation? <sighs> Part of my memory came back when I saw Dim's face back in the holy pillar. Uh, it did? Yes, but... Just a tiny fragment, barely even a coherent thought. It was the number six, and I saw Idea being slain by a creature I'd never seen before. I just looked on while it happened. Ugh, I'll thank you not to go killing me off in your weird fantasies. I... I don't... <clears throat> I just don't know. <clears throat> Ring a bell? Are you alright? I... <laughs> Does your head still hurt? No, I'm fine now. Tell me truthfully, do you really doubt Eri? No, it's not... I don't doubt her. It's just... I think it's dangerous to assume all Eri says is correct. That's all I meant to say. Even a Christ fairy can make mistakes. Can I ask you something? Let me guess. Dark Knight, Alternus Dim? <clears throat> you said part of your memory came back when you saw his face. Ring a bell. He... He looked just like you. It was past the bounds of brothers. You would have to be perfect twins. What do you make of it all? What do these new memories of yours say? I deliberately held my silence in front of Eri, but... I believe we're in a parallel world. A parallel... world? The fact that Alternus Dim and I both exist at the same time is proof enough of that. You're not saying...
Okay? Two things. I just died. The other thing is I've been muted for quite a long time, I think. Um... So, I don't even know what the last thing I said was because I've been muted for so long. Okay, guys, so here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking, right? Agnes, I'm going to keep her as a monk, but I want her to have the pirate subclass. Tiz, I'm going to keep as a monk, but I'm going to go ahead and keep training his Templar subclass because if I'm going to be using Rampart, might as well have his other skills. Ring a bell. Uh, he's a white mage. I'm going to keep him as a white mage, but if he's going to be a true white mage, let's at least have him have the performer subclass and then with the dia if she, i'm gonna i decided i'm gonna keep her a black mage because it doesn't the uh, the amount of damage that i needed to do but again her sub ability was no use so i'm gonna go ahead and put time mage because that does something so i'm gonna sit here for a while and actually grind but it looks like the episode's basically gone on long enough already um but i guess i'll see i'll finish it off after i do some grinding Okay, everybody, so I'm going to go ahead and end up sort of here, but before I do, let me just quickly show you some of the things that have happened. So, I think this might be my final change. There's a couple things that I want to do, but they're just going to take so long and I just don't have the time. Um, I'll tell you the things that I kind of wanted to do, but anyway. So, quickly, um, we're sticking with Agnes and Tez as both monks, and they both... I guess I'll just have Agnes do ninjutsu and Tez have holy art. Honestly, I thought a lot about their support abilities, like their job command, and they don't really matter. I'm only going to be using the monk things anyway, so really, these two are not important. The only thing that's important to have two classes is Ring a Bell and Adia. So long story short, I went ahead and Adia is now going to be an Arcanist, just for the fact that I like the speciality better. The Absorb M damage is better than the Resonance, so I changed her to Arcanist just really for the speciality. And then now she'll also have the Arcanist abilities instead of compounding, which doesn't matter. And then ring a bell. The only difference with him is now I have the performer as his sub. I'm gonna keep him as a white mage. We just have the performer as a sub. Now the only the other things that I had in my mind was maybe um, putting this guy as a um, salve maker for his special ability, and then a white mage as a sub. But it wasn't really that useful. Performer is basically just as well. And then the only other thing is that maybe I wanted to level up Ringabell's Time Mage to 14 so I could get that BP ability. But, mm. and then I have a Dia a pretty long way up. You know, I leveled her Time Mage up, but the thing is, I don't want to get rid of any of her um, abilities because these are both very important to doing a lot of damage. So, this is what we're going to do. Um, two monks, a white mage, and Arcanist. The Arcanist has black magic. The white mage has performer. And then the monks basically just do their own thing. Um, but during this, I got some more money, 400,000. And I also leveled up to 75. So that's really good. Okay, guys. So I'm going to end this episode off here. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and comment, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.